Hi viewers, Hi, uh, how we are applying the gradient search to maximize the likelihood estimation in neural network. So from the previous uh, video, we have calculated maximum likelihood uh, and that is from the uh, set of hypothesis in the hypothesis space that should give you the um, maximal posterior probability value and uh, this is calculated by using the minimizing error uh, so this is actual output di log uh, predicted output plus 1 minus uh, 1 minus actual output multiplied with log 1 minus predicted output so which is maximizing the quantity that provides maximum likelihood hypothesis so which is maximizing the uh, probability value which is providing you consistent likelihood hypothesis so let's consider g of h comma d which is denoting the quantity derive a weight training rule for neural network learning uh, that searching uh, that is searching to maximize the quantity that is maximizing the quantity uh, that is performance of our model by using the gradient ascent gradient ascent the gradient as gradient of the g of h comma d is given by the vector of partial derivatives of this g of h comma d h is the hypothesis with respect to given data set d right so here uh, when you are applying the partial derivative to this quantity g of h comma d so this is the partial derivative with respect to weights w means weights because neural network is using the weights then uh, when you are applying this you are uh, getting the partial derivatives like this then for this you are applying the uh, for g of h comma d you are applying the uh, loss function then uh, from the loss function finally we will get uh, this d actual output minus predicted output divided by actual uh, predicted output minus one uh, into one minus predicted output and uh, multiplied with do of predicted predicted output divided by with respect to weight with respect to weight so then assume neural network is constructed from a single layer of sigmoid units okay sigmoid activation function then we can say this do do uh, predicted output divided by with respect to weights then we can say sigmoid function of the respective sample respective sample then we can write uh, the equation predicted output into one minus predicted output with respect to the sample okay sample with respect to the sample so this is the uh, uh, partial derivative to update the parameter w to update the parameter w so finally we will obtain the simple expression for the derivatives that constitute the gradient right so finally we are getting the summation of 1 to m so until m number of samples we have to find out the difference between predicted output and uh, actual output so this is maximizing the quantity uh, rather than minimizing the probability of g given h so we will perform a uh, gradient ascent rather than the gradient uh, descent search gradient uh, dis uh, descent search so here on each iteration we are searching the weight vector that is adjusted in the direction of the gradient using weight update rule so weight is up this is old weight then uh, there is the modification difference difference so that is updated to the weight so this is new weight then uh, here we are applying the partial derivation uh, differentiation to the weight uh, by using this formula for all the m number of samples all the m number of samples so here the eta is the small positive constant that is determining the uh, step size that is the learning rate learning rate so finally uh, we can compare this weight update rule to the weight update rule used by the back propagation algorithm to minimize the sum of squared error between predicted output and a given actual output given actual output 
so here the weight update rule is uh, given uh, the weight is updated from this is the old weight plus the uh, difference between the difference uh, i mean identified the weight up updation uh, here the weight updation is given here the learning rate and the error we have error loss function loss function which is updated for all the samples 1 to m uh, here we are using the sigmoid function as the activation function uh, these two weight update rules are converged towards the maximum likelihood hypothesis in two, two different settings um, uh, and uh, this is minimizing the sum of the squared error uh, for the maximum likelihood hypothesis under the assumption that the training data can be modeled by normal distributed noise that added to the target function and second rule is minimize the cross entropy cross entropy that maximizes the maximum likelihood hypothesis under the observed boolean value that is based upon the probability function of input instance so with this i conclude the session thanks for watching